Well, this game exists. And for such an uninteresting title, this is an extremely fun game, actually. Hyper here with another video. Welcome to my review of Tradición Perdido. So, Missing Translation is a free game on Steam that uses old school black and white 8 bit graphics. That's pretty alright, actually. Well, something that makes this game unique is that, like the title says, it has no actual direct language. The story is told not through text or even sound, but completely through the images. Kind of, kind of like if Pong had an actual interesting plot. Or Pac-Man. Or whatever. The story of this game is... Uh... Well... Uh, from what I can gather, there's this woman in some town trying to either find her husband or just, like, I don't know, do something, I don't know. Pro uh, maybe it's find her husband. This game is actually rather small, though. But it has a little bit of extra that I need to look into later that I'm not covering in this review now because I'm a lazy asshole. Through the pictures, you learn that you have to do three tasks, probably to slave your husband, or whatever. You travel around town and eventually find these puzzles. Hint, cats, usually. We have one puzzle where you just fill in all the areas to win. A lot of these puzzles are very nicely designed. It's really fun and easy to pick up. They start you off with very simple puzzles going, and... You know, so you can eventually go and get used to the control and how they work, and then they throw at you harder ones. If you don't get it, you just keep going, and eventually you will. The satisfaction of solving one of these puzzles is great, really. The, the next puzzle after the ice, even if there is an order, which there probably isn't, is this. You got squares. You gotta put them to an exit. At first, it's one, then two, then three. They move together. Ugh. Woo, fun. Also, there's this cowboy potato. Yeah, they, the, the creator saw you so important that they actually put him in, like, the credits. The third and not so final puzzle is where you have all these Nintendo trademark D-pads. Some of them have metal stuff, others don't. You need all of it to touch only the same thing as them in order to win. Like, metal can only touch metal. Not metal can only touch not metal. I may be wrong, but I feel like there might be multiple ways to win here. All of these puzzles are very fun and creatively made. My favorite's probably the Nintendo. Oh, how can I forget the music? It's so calming and soothing, perfect for the genre of games that it is. You are listening to the tune right now that plays whenever you're solving a puzzle. And it's some kind of amazing French tune that I just really, really love. Yeah, just so soothing. So, relax. So, so. I forgot to mention that anytime you have to do something, instead of giving a text bubble, you got these ghost people of you and your husband person. They show where you go and what you do. A light bulb shows up anytime you are able to do something somewhere. And you can also talk ish. You make these lines such and such and whatever, and it's considered a language. It doesn't really do much, but it's a neat touch. Or maybe it's part of the after game stuff that I just won't cover. Once again, lazy awesome. So you got the three necessary things and enter a. a portal? A, then you are in bed. And the lady smiles, knowing everything's alright, so I guess she was just looking for her husband in a dream. Cool. Super Mario 2. Yeah. This is honestly a very impressive game, actually. While being very short, this will probably offer a day or two of fun for you to play. Going for that completion goal, which I didn't really go for, will probably give you a little bit more fun to go. This translation, especially being a free Steam game, feels very expertly made, and offers a lot. If you find it, 
if you find a chance, pick this game up, support it. It's free and it doesn't really take much space at all, like 100 gig megabytes. I almost said gigabytes. <laughs> Simple, easy, cheap. It's fun, too. I give this game an 8 out of 10, as it probably could offer more easier to access content. It could have done a little better telling the story. I mean, I am kind of praising this for being able to tell the story through visuals, but I kind of don't know what's going on, so that's a bit of a problem. That's all I had to say. This was Messi's Translation. This is Hyper, sign out.